How's it going, everybody? And welcome to episode number 57 of the Management 2.0 series here on FIFA 16. Now, last episode uh, went pretty well for us as we wrapped up the month of September. Um, it culminated in a very emphatic win on the road against Hartley Pool, the league leaders, giving them their first loss of the season with a very high-powered offense. But it was our uh, recent uh, free transfer signing, Thompson, who's been struggling with confidence who came through and got a hat trick in the first half of that game and absolutely just dominated the game. Uh, Harley Pool did get a goal back, but uh, not much to uh, talk about there. Then we had the epic 2-2 draw match against Rochdale, where it was just kind of a drag-out fight on the road and a tough matchup ended up in a draw. A uh, fair result, I'd say. We were probably pretty lucky to get the draw. We were a little bit outclassed in that match. But, I mean, we're third place right now after 10 games. 5-4-1. I'd say we're doing pretty well. Up next we have the Johnson's Panko Trophy, round number two. And it's against AFC Wimbledon, a team that I've always dread playing. They seem to have our number, but uh, hopefully we got something for them this time. So, without further ado, guys, let's head down to the pitch. Here's a chance to make an impression for these two teams in this competition, the Johnston's Paint Trophy, and a chance to get to the next round. Yeah, and maybe just uh, a welcome break from league action for these two sides, so uh, they should be free to express themselves out there. This is the home team lineup, and we put it out here, Alan, as a 4 4 2. Would you go along with that? Yeah, I think to begin with, it'll be interesting actually. The manager does like to change his shape at times during a match, but it looks like it will start this way. This is how the visitors will line up today. Don't always see it these days. Two up front, 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, and good to see because uh, those two boys up front, they have got a good partnership, a good understanding. Nito, good stuff there. It's Freya now. Back post, Collins, and he buries it! Oh, we're off to a flying start here, boys. Collins buries the header, and it's 1-0 within the first minute. Oh, my goodness. We are on a roll right now, boys. And Collins did an amazing job. Free did a great job holding up the ball there. Just waited, whipped the early cross in, and he beats his man and beats the keeper near post. What a finish. Oh, keeper might, maybe should have got that, but it sneaks right through. All right, ball's whipped in. Oh, that's a good ball in. Header off the post. Get rid of it. Volley missed. And Wimbledon with probably their best chance of the game so far there on that set piece. Off the crossbar. Then the uh, volley rebound just goes wide. Too much thread in the needle there. And they're going to get it out wide. Bachman. Close it down near post. And you can feel Wimbledon, the momentum going their way now. As they're able to just run down the wing and get a shot off the post there. Right now they're doing a good job moving the ball now. Oh, no. The strike. Oh, my goodness. What a strike. Taylor from distance nearly buries it. Kind of falling over a heel, kind of tripping on our own heels right now, trying to defend. Almost crossed up. Oh, that's a good cross. Oh, found the foot of Revis, but he couldn't bury it again. Uh, Wimbledon just keep knocking on the door, but haven't quite put it away yet. And now it's McCready now. It's McCready now. He's in the box. Oh, he's brought down hard, and that's going to be a penalty. Oh. And the referee's going to show a card for that. He did not like that one bit. It looked like maybe a bit of, he got goaded into that tackle, Nightingale. He's complaining to the referee. It might have been a bit soft, but he was beat there by McCready there. And our young lone player that we picked up from Shrewsbury draws the foul. He does have time on his side. Steps up, takes it, and he buries it top shelf. And it's 2-0 to Newport County here. McCready did all the hard work here. As a lone, he's our lone player from Shrewsbury. 
did a great job here. Just buried the penalty. No question about it. Shea just kind of stood there and looked at it. Nice composed finish by the young uh, midfielder from England. Oh, lays it off brilliantly. Oh, the strike. Taylor sends it wide. Ooh. Good play in the box there. Taylor had a wide open net, but he completely missed it. Oh, delete, miss, makes a miss. Oh, makes a man miss. Finish it. Oh, it's going to go in. And it's a goal. It's a third goal. Thompson just worked harder than the defenders, and he buries a third one here late. Just rubs salt in the wounds there as he makes a nice spin move around the defender. He just one-on-one -on -one the defender. Look at this. Whoop. Back heel spin move. And he beats the keeper to it and just trickles into the back of the net. Just a really gritty performance. And he adds another goal to his tally for the season. And that's the final whistle. Newport County advanced to the third round of the Johnstone's paint trophy here in the third year of Ted Lasso's reign at Newport County. And it's a huge win against a team that has always seemed to have had our number in the past. AFC Wimbledon, we're up in League One now. But uh, tonight was our night. Reese Thompson getting highlighted, coming on with the goal. Uh, maybe man of the match, we'll see. But uh, good performance on Wimbledon just didn't look like they were up for it tonight here. I don't know. Just probably thought they could handle it, but it was us taking control of the match by the neck, 3-0. Okay, so the match ball is going to go to Faria for the assist. And did he... S for the assist on the uh, Collins goal. Um, fair enough. He played really solid. He did get booked, though, so it did hurt his rating a little bit. But I thought he played outstanding. Um... All up and down. Not, I'm not too displeased with the performances out there. It was kind of a reserve side, and we shut out a very good, strong team and who had their chances but couldn't break us down defensively. And then McCready looked strong on the wing. Uh, Osadembe, his first match, full match you've had in a while. He actually played full 90, actually did all right. Um, the Lee, did he get an assist? Yeah, he did get an assist on the Thompson goal. Thompson with a goal coming in, so all in all, pretty happy with that performance. I think we'll definitely look forward to the next round of the, of the paint trophy and see who we draw. Hi everybody, Martin Tyler here with you. Alan Smith has joined me. League 2 football for you today. Yeah, delighted to be here, Martin. Looking forward to it. Well, this is how the home team shape up. Just to check on the formation. 4-4-2, but an interesting variation on it, Alan. Yeah, a little diamond in midfield, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised at some point. If it's not working, he'll go to a more conventional 4-4-2. This is the away team lineup. Well, it's pretty fashionable these days, isn't it? The 4-3-3 gives you the three in midfield, which managers like to have that extra solidity. Yeah, that's right. I'm just looking at the two wide lads up top. They are more central strikers trying to do a job. Be interested to see how they get on. Alan, what do you make of the home side here today? Well, they didn't expect this, did they? They might be getting a nosebleed up in that promotion place. But uh, now that they're there, they can just hold it together. Who knows where they might finish? Over the top, Gallagher. Oh, Gallagher's going to have space here. He shoots it. Oh, it's off the post. Ah, but he couldn't clear it back in. The uh, oh no, he's right through on net. And Exeter City strike early here. They found a gap in between my center backs, and Hoskins absolutely buried it. Don't know what we we're doing there. Just it's off a throw in, just laid it up right up the middle. Pearson wasn't looking. Uh, Capeco and Pearson were just kind of ball watching. And it's an easy finish from distance. Bachman tried to get out to deflect it, but to no avail. Great finish there. It's Exeter taking an early lead here. Team. Looks for the overlap. Tumasi. Puts the ball in. That's a good ball in. Header. Goody was there. Mmm. 
We're looking lethal on those crosses now. We're starting to find a range. Derry found a nice one, just couldn't keep it down. And there's Cross, header. Oh, Hoskins again. He has been dangerous in the box today. Another chance. I thought we had that corner covered well, but he's able to get a great cross. Oh, that's a good ball in. Oh, oh, big save, Bachman. Beckwood just clears it away. Oof. Oh, Hoskins again. He's through. Header. And Nichols scores. It's 2 0. Just too easy for Exeter to beat us down the wing with this width. Just a great build up here. We're getting. Uh, we just got caught out here. Great little build up here. Oh, goody airy. Gutierrez, can you finish it? Oh, he just sends it wide. Oh, that was a play right there. I thought Gutierrez could have buried that chance, but he couldn't. He sends it wide. Oh, no. Bachman. What a save. What more could he do? He asked for a keeper. He's doing everything he can to keep us in the game. Davies should have been called for a foul. But... No, let's let's continue and get the shot away. Just play it out wide. Too too mossy. Oh, on the overlap. Osa Dembe, and he scores! Osa Dembe on the overlap. We're still in it, boys. He grabs the ball quickly. It was a great little let off play. Suwamzi finds the lead. The lead lays it off to Osa Dembe. And he actually slipped there on that left foot as he followed through. But he beats the keeper. And we are now knocking on the door here to get another one, boys. And there it is. The final whistle's blown here from the Rodney Parade Stadium. And it's a defeat. 2-1. We managed to get one goal back. But uh, Exeter, man, they gave us problems today. No question. We just struggled to keep them out of the net. <laughs> Plain and simple. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Gallagher taking a knock once again after you know his first full match back. It's a real concern for us. But, uh, man, we had our chances to tie this match up, maybe even win it. But it just wasn't to be today, boys. Two on the final. Hodgkins gets man of the match for Exeter. And I would say so. He got a goal, didn't he? Did he get an assist? No, he did not. But um, coming on, Ostemi getting a goal is huge for us. Just... Uh, we just got caught out a few times here. Nieto, Kipekwa had rough games, but uh, and then Gallagher obviously getting hurt wasn't ideal. But and the Lee coming on, he's played pretty solid in two matches, so it'd be interesting to see how the squad's going to shake out. But it's good to see us at back in form, but uh, obviously our concerns are with Gallagher right now with the injury um, and Harrison, who's off on international duty once we're playing time, but. Uh, be interesting to see, but we're going to wrap up the episode right there, guys. Um, I don't say this enough, but thank you, everybody that's watching here on the stream. I appreciate you guys following me there, and also subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the videos and leave comments. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, stoked about the support, and I hope you keep enjoying this series. Like I said, I tried to, I tried to bring something different here with these sliders slash broadcast cam setup I use for these career mode and try to be a little bit more realistic than like a typical road to glory you would see all right boys but I'm off uh, I'd like to thank everyone again once again and I'll see you around for the next episode